house dust allergy in the United States is a huge problem. If I take a thousand people that are allergic to dust, 950 will give me the same history. Well, Doc, I've got East Tennessee sinus. I've got a stuffy nose. I've got drainage. I'm worse in the winter. I'm worse in the morning. I'm worse when the weather's damp and rainy. <clears throat> I'm always clearing my throat. I get sore throats. I <clears throat> hoarse in the morning. It gets better as the day goes on. They're sicker people. They have problems all the time, even though they're worse in the morning and frequently are worse in the winter. House dust allergies due to a little dust mite. This dust mite lives in pillows, mattresses, and carpet. In my pillow in my house, there's probably 100,000 dust mites. In your pillow at your house, there's probably 100,000 dust mites. Every single day, each one of those dust mites puts out about 22 little pellets. So they accumulate more and more and more and more in your pillow. And when you lay down in your pillow, poof, you're sleeping with the enemy. You're sleeping with what you're allergic to. And that's why we wake up with stuffy nose and drainage and congestion and a full head and a blocked head and headache and just don't feel good and we haven't slept well. It's all because of that dust allergy. What can we do about that? There's a lot of really things that we can do to help. Number one, since the dust mite lives in pillows and in mattresses, we can get a vinyl cover that goes over that pillow and zips up and we put our sheets over that. A vinyl you won't like, it'll crinkle, crunch, make you sweat, won't use it, won't like it, won't use it. So they've now made some, they won't crinkle, crunch, or make you sweat. We have some in our office, you can purchase them from our office. There's pretty good ones at Bed Bath & Beyond, so I don't want you to think that ours is the only place that you can purchase these wonderful vinyl covers. Go over your pillow, zip up, pillowcase, same thing with the mattress, sheets go over there. Now, even though we don't like it, these dust mites can begin to colonize on your uh, sheets and your pillowcases. So we have to wash the sheets and pillowcases in 130 degree temperature or more. That will kill the dust mite. Less than 130 degrees, we just give the dust mite a bath and it keeps on causing problems in your bed. So if you'll do those things and keep the area around the head of the bed spick and span, you need to be sure you pull your bed out once a month and vacuum behind it. And weekly, you need to vacuum your own bedroom. It would be good if somebody else did that vacuuming. Or you can put a little mask on your face and do the vacuuming. The more that you do, the better off you're going to be. That ceiling fan will agitate the air and it will keep the dust mite particulate matter floating in the air. So you'll do better if the ceiling fan's off. You know, if that's the only way you can sleep, use the ceiling fan. The better job you do, the more results you're going to get. The vent should not be directed at the nose. So if the vent is right beside your bed, change it. Put a cover over it. Use Yankee Ingenuity. If there's a bookcase by the head of the bed, remove it. Put it on another part. On your bedside table, it should be simple. A lamp and an alarm clock. Put your phone somewhere else. Put clothes somewhere else. Put books somewhere else. Close that closet door. The better dust avoidance you do in your bedroom, you're supposed to get eight hours of sleep, so if you go to bed at 11, get up at 7, go to bed at 10, get up at 6. If we can help that eight hours and make it as dust-free as possible, you'll do better. That's what we're after. Good luck on your dust avoidance program. It's like everything else. The more you put into it, the better you're going to be.